हेलो एवरीवन अवर टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ लेक्चर ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिकल मेथड्स इज मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी व्हाट इज मीन बाय मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्शन ए मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्शन इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द सेकंड ऑर्डर एवरेजेस बिकॉज दे आर बेस्ड ऑन द मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी ऑलरेडी लर्न द डिफरेंट मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी लाइक arithmetic mean geometric mean harmonic mean median mode quartile decimals and percentiles measures of central tendency is called as the first order averages and the measures of dispersion is called as the second order averages because they are totally based on the measures of central tendency what is the definition of dispersion the dispersion means the scatterness that is the degree of variation or diversity dispersion gives the idea about homogeneity and heterogeneity of data in general sense the dispersion refers to the variability in the data what is mean by dispersion dispersion checks the variability in the data that means the scatterness of data the carl pearson one of the statistician used this concept first time to compare the variability by using the measures of dispersion the average remain good representative if the dispersion is less if the variability in the data is less then the quality is good that that is average remains the good representative if the dispersion is less that means if the variability is less then the average is good representative of our data the following are the measures of dispersion there are four measures of dispersion first is range quartile deviation mean deviation and last is standard deviation these are these four are the absolute measures of dispersion and absolute measures of dispersion expressed in terms of original unit suppose for example the data we had given 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm and 4 cm that means ungrouped data here we are given only the values of x suppose the first measure of central tendency is range how to calculate the range largest value minus smallest value so 4 minus 1 that is 3 so my answer of range is 3 cm because the absolute measures of dispersion is expressed in the original unit here the original unit is in cm so my answer is also in cm but the relative measures of dispersion expressed in terms of ratio or percentage only what is mean by the relative measures we will see okay so the first measure of dispersion is range so how to calculate the range range is the difference between the largest and the smallest values in a given series of data range is nothing but the just difference between the largest and smallest value so range is equal to largest value minus smallest value l is for the largest value and s is for the smallest value and what is the relative measure of range this relative measure is used to compare the data so the relative measure of range is the coefficient of range is equal to l minus s divided by l plus s l means the largest value and s means the smallest value let's see example of ungrouped data example calculate the range and coefficient of range for following data the range and coefficient of range formula for ungrouped data grouped data and continuous data are same so what is the formula for calculating the range range is the largest value minus smallest value that is l minus s what is the data we are given the data values are 49 36 66 41 44 71 41 46 and last is 53 so what is the largest value we are given in example so the largest value is 71 and what is the smallest value we are given in example 36 now just plug the value of l and s in the exam in the formula so what is the value of l 71 largest value and smallest value is 36 so formula for calculating the range is l minus s that is 71 minus 36 so range value is 35 now the relative measure coefficient of range is formula is the coefficient of range is l minus s divided by l plus s so l value is 71 s is 36 so 
प्लस थर्टी सिक्स सो सेवेंटी वन माइनस थर्टी सिक्स दैट इज थर्टी फाइव एंड सेवेंटी वन प्लस थर्टी सिक्स दैट इज वन जीरो सेवन सो द कोफिशंट ऑफ रेंज इज थर्टी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय वन जीरो सेवन ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट केस इज ग्रुप डेटा सो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द रेंज एंड कोफिशंट ऑफ रेंज फॉर फॉलोइंग डेटा दैट इज ग्रुप डेटा द ग्रुप डेटा मीन्स वी आर गिवन द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स अलॉन्ग विद दैट frequency so what is the formula for calculating range l minus s that is the largest value minus smallest value so what is the largest value we are given in example x means the observation and f means the corresponding frequencies so what is the largest value we are given in example so value means the observation so largest observation is 6 and the smallest observation is 0 so 6 minus 0 that is Six and what is the coefficient of range? So coefficient of range formula is L minus s divided by L plus s. L value is six and the s value is zero. So six minus zero divided by six plus zero. So six divided by six that is one. So so coefficient of range value is one. Now the last case continuous data. What is meant by continuous data? If we are given the classes along with their frequency, then such data is called as the continuous data. so calculate range and coefficient of range for continuous data what is the formula for calculating range largest value minus smallest value that is l minus s so what is the largest value we are given in example so largest value means largest observation so here the largest observation is 16 and the smallest observation is 0 so 16 minus 0 that is 16 so the range value is 16 now the coefficient of range formula is l minus s divided by l plus s what is the largest value we are given in example 16 and what is the smallest value 0 so 16 minus 0 divided by 16 plus 0 so 16 divided by 16 that is 1 so the coefficient of range value is 1 so this is the concept of range for ungrouped data group data and continuous data now the next point is merits and demerits of range what are the merits of range first merit is it is simple to understand and easy to calculate second merit is range is most widely used in the certain types of problems like quality control share price analysis and the weather forecast etc now the demerits of range it is not based on our observation yes because it just depends on the largest value and the smallest value in given series of data if it is not based on our observation then it is not rigidly defined that means not strictly defined and if it is not rigidly defined then it is not capable for further mathematical treatment that is it is not used for the further mathematical calculations now the fourth day merit is it is not calculated for qualitative data suppose my data is red blue and black so formula for calculating the range is largest value minus smallest value so which one is the largest value and which one is the smallest value in given series of data we can't tell which one is the largest value and the smallest value because the given data is qualitative data so the range is not calculated for the qualitative data and it is not calculated by graphically measures of dispersion is not calculated by graphically okay now the last is it is not calculated for the open end classes suppose my the classes are below 10 and above 10 below 10 means 10 to less and above 10 means 10 to onwards okay so which one is the largest value and which one is the smallest value in the given data we can't calculate okay so it is not calculated for the open end classes and one of the demerit of range is it is much more affected by the extreme observations because the range is totally depends on the largest value and the smallest value that's why it is affected by the extreme observation so these are the merits and demerits of a range in the next lecture we will see the next measure of dispersion name is quartile deviation thank you